Hi and welcome to the Music Production Handbook. So in this continuation of the short videos that I've been doing um, with regards to mix prep, this one is about uh, applying a non-destructive gain um, to regions. And it's a little bit similar to Pro Tools' clip gain, whereby you can actually select pieces of the clips and increase or decrease the audio. Why might you want to do that? It's, it may save time later on when you're trying to do automation, or you want the compressor to be have in a much more consistent manner. Um, and it makes sort of the job of uh, the automation rides and things like that a lot more straightforward when you're trying to set up the sort of balances of the mix and it gets you going. Um, and you can be a bit more uh, precise later on. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to isolate this region here and create a region there so I can actually apply the, the gain function. So I'm just going to put a cut there, put a cut there, and I'm just going to put one there. So I've isolated those regions. And so I'm going to select the first one. And if I go up to here, you've got the inspector. Okay. And just above where the, the function for the fades are is you've got is this little uh, gain. There's also a transpose and fine tune, but we'll cover that in another video. But by clicking and dragging up, you'll start to see that I can actually make the audio now become uh, more in line with the rest of the track. And I can do the same uh, with this one here. So now that my vocal is a lot more consistent, uh, you can go into a, in a more depth and maybe cut out more of the actual phrases and then bring them out. Um, as I say, it's just another way of making a consistent performance where somebody is recording it might have used the fader to ride the signal coming in um, just to capture the performance, make sure they don't clip on the way in. There's all sorts of reasons. Um, but that's the, the tip of the day. Um, please subscribe to the YouTube channel and you can also uh, follow on the Facebook, uh, the Music Production Handbook, where there'll be other tips and tricks uh, and things like that as well. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers.